What is going on guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to Transfer Talk. So, as you all know we are in December now and that only means one thing. The January transfer window is right round the corner and already rumours have started to emerge. So, uh, the first one today brings me to today's title of the video and that is Nolito uh, who has been heavily linked with Arsenal. Um, Arsenal and Real Madrid have actually targeted this player. Um, but it, it's looking likely that Arsenal are going to land this guy's signature. Um, these are only rumours, do not take my word for them, I get um, obviously all of my rumours online, off the internet, various sites. Um, so yes, Wenger looks to be making a £15 million uh, inquiry for Nolito. Uh, the Spanish left winger, I suppose, would be good backup to Alexis Sanchez. Um, with Arsenal's injury crisis, you know, having an extra winger will not do as much harm as, as it is the, the players that out wide with, um, you know, Welbeck can cover in that position, but using Welbeck as, you know, with his uh, injury history, we, we have got to start doing this, you know, we've got to start having more depth into the squad and it, it will not harm Arsenal at all in, in bringing in Nolito. Um, and yeah, I think it would be actually a very good acquisition, I think it Nolito would, would suit up um, Arsenal really well. Um, however, he could he could be tempted by Real Madrid. It depends who. Um, it depends on what he prefers, I suppose. If he's willing to uh, relocate, then then the Premier League would be good for him. It's obviously the Premier League itself is a, is a big attraction um, to a player like Nolito. Nolito. However, Nolito, don't forget, is Spanish and with Real Madrid, probably a, cl a club more closer to home knocking on his door, he could be poised to a move there, um, which could then actually see a Real Madrid winger um, called Jesse or Hesse uh, Rodriguez move actually from Real Madrid to Arsenal because Jesse Rodriguez or Hesse Rodriguez, however you pronounce it, can actually uh, play in that left wing or left midfield position too. So, that is Arsenal's uh, tran latest transfer news within this series. And next up, we've got a player who I actually really admire, um, and that is Nigel de Jong, um, the Dutch international. Now, de Jong was um, kind of brought to fame um, for me when he joined Manchester City. I thought he was brilliant for them, and I actually think he's a player that, that Man City could possibly be, should possibly be looking at as well, because he, um, you know, Yaya Torre is, is obviously coming of getting old now I was going to say coming of age but no he's, he's getting on a little bit now and I think it's clear Yaya Torre is, is no longer the player that he once was um, and I just think De Jong is, is a brilliant acquisition for absolutely any side he's so solid in midfield he's also pretty decent attackingly as well um, and yeah you know he's, he's just a good strong central defensive midfielder but also has that attacking edge in my opinion as well um, his FIFA card for me doesn't really rate him as as a player um, but you know FIFA is only a game so we can't always judge a player off of FIFA ratings um, but yeah two clubs actually have uh, been linked with um, the Dutch international first of all we have got actually a rumour about him returning to the Premier League and that would be playing under Leicester or for Leicester City Football Club um, obviously alongside a midfield of Mares, um, Mark Brighton as well, Danny Drinkwater um, and playing obviously behind the um, what should I call him the legendary no not quite but the the promising Jamie Vardy the um, the record breaker <laughs> Jamie Vardy and that would be interesting I you know I think wherever De Jong goes he will only be a positive signing for them nothing less I think it doesn't matter where he goes whether it's to a top top club or to um, a club like, no offence to Leicester, because they are top of the Premier League, but if he was to go to somewhere like Leicester or Werder Bremen, I think, who are also linked with him, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, yeah, I do think that, that De Jong would really just strengthen absolutely any team in the world. I, I do, that's how much I rate the player. I do re genuinely really, really like him. I would actually love him at Arsenal as a good backup to Francis Coquelin, just in case Coquelin got injured like he is now. Um, but yeah, the source is calciomercato.com. Uh, so if you want to check that out, I've said that in quite a weird accent. Um, but yeah, 
He's uh, been linked to Leicester and, of course, um, Werder Bremen. Now, don't forget that he is currently um, in the the race for another, well, another side of joining the race as well, which is Schalke, and that is also um, in the same league as Werder Bremen in the um, Bundesliga. So, he is currently out at uh, AC Milan, Italy, where he joined from Manchester City. I can't remember, can't quite remember the year, and I'm kicking myself right now. But yeah, he joined from Manchester City to AC Milan, and I was quite surprised that Man City even let him go. To be honest, um, Man City now have Fini uh, Fernandinho and Fernando, which is just so difficult to, to say together. It just is confusing. Um, but yeah, Man City have those two, and in my opinion, De Jong is better than both. And that might just be me, but I honestly do believe that De Jong is better than both of those. Um, so yeah, where will he end up? Could he? Could he possibly? I mean, he's played in in the BPL before. Maybe um, he wants to return to that. He's got BPL experience, so I don't think Leicester would would have to worry on that ground. They wouldn't have to um, have to worry about him adapting to the league because it's a league that he's already played in. However, he goes to Vidarim or Schalke. I don't know the Bundesliga obviously um would he get perhaps more or less playing time for those it, it could all fall down to absolutely anything um but then you have to bear in mind that Werder Bremen and well Schalke I think out of all three clubs are probably um likely to pay the most money so will, will it come down to money or will it come down to uh, wanting you know more game time um we'll soon see anyway where De Jong ends up and I'll continue to uh, have a look on Nigel De Jong because I'm actually really interested in, in seeing him and I would I personally would love for him to return to the BPL and I think Leicester would be a good move for him. Moving on we have got a Murillo or Murillo I think you pronounce it Murillo. Um, he is a Colombian international, very good actually, um, centre back who uh, is being targeted by two Spanish big big teams. Barcelona and Real Madrid are both haunting this guy right now i said that wrong i said haunting <laughs> i meant to say hunting but yes he's um out at inter milan at the moment who are claiming that they want at least 40 million euros um and it says the real madrid and barcelona um are, are tracking him of course i haven't heard of any other clubs 